The use of a vignette is a nice way to gently darken the edges, and there's two main ways to do this in Lightroom. Let's start with the easier method, which is the vignette tool. You'll find this loaded in the section called Effects. What you can now do is gently adjust the vignette. Now I'm going to overdo it for a moment so you really see it. Let's take that all the way down and darken it. The midpoint adjusts the size of the vignette, and then we can also change the roundness or the shape. Notice in this case, I'm going to go more of an oblong pill. Feathering is the gentle blend or hard edge, and highlights will preserve the brighter areas. What I'm going to do is back off the amount there, and you see a nice subtle change. If we toggle that on and off, it pulls you in. Remember, you could play with these shapes here and change the overall look. You also can favor what it's going to add to. In this case, paint overlay and highlight priority were a bit heavy handed, but I like the color priority here, and that's looking a lot more natural. If we toggle that effect on and off, you see the nice darkening of the edge, but it's not too overdone, and it just creates a very photorealistic effect. Now, this is just one way to do this. Another way is to be more precise using one of the masking tools. Sometimes you may find yourself with an image where you want a bit more control. I'll choose the radial mask here and simply draw a circle. I can now position that where I want it. Now this circle is doing a lot because of how it's been affected. Let's just reset those there and remove the color cast. That was just to make it easier to see. Now what we could do is really adjust the feathering and start to play with the exposure. Notice here, as we're working with this, we can really control what happens. I want to rotate that a little bit. We can also refine the mask with some advanced masking options. You'll find these near the bottom of the controls. What we want to do here is turn the range mask on, and I'll use something here like luminance. If I choose to see the luminance mask, now it's easy to adjust. Notice how I'm controlling what's affected. For example, we could tell it to not darken those highlights as much. So now by clipping that, you see how it's refining. Using the smoothness slider here is also pretty important to blend that in. Now, let's refine the feather. You see the hard edge and the gentle edge. That looks good. We'll turn the mask off, and now we could really adjust that. Let's darken that area down and pull down the texture a little bit, as well as back off the saturation. What that's done is nicely create an area outside that gets a little bit darker. Remember, this can be freely rotated and adjusted to refine the overall shape. This gives you great control to do a non-traditional vignette particularly when you may have an irregular shape like this where we want to highlight this open area but darken the outside edges. Let's go ahead there and close that, and you can see that overall change. So, whether you use the traditional vignette or paint your own in with the masking tools or the brush, you can do a lot to control those edges. This allows you to create a window where there's light, and an area of shadow that can really guide the viewer's eye through the photo.